Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video I want to talk about adding Cloud Linux to your VPS. Um, this is more for those of you that are engaging in reseller hosting. Cloud Linux allows you to apply specific limits to each cPanel account that's created so that not one cPanel account takes all the resources of the server. So this has been developed in recent years, but um, now more and more of the big brand web hosts are starting to adapt it. Um, because back in the old days, if your website used too many resources, a lot of times the web host would just suspend your entire account, say you used too many resources, and then you don't know what in the world or why they suspended you. So at Name Hero, on all of our shared and reseller accounts, we've um, integrated the Cloud Linux that allow us to, to set aside a limit for each single cPanel account created. And then we go a step further by letting you know what those limits are. We publish those limits and make them um, public so you know exactly what to expect. Specifically, the virtual memory, the physical memory, the concurrent connections, the number of processes, the I.O. limit, the I.O. operations per second, and the inodes limit. That's the number of files. So we let you know this all up front. So you know when you're putting a website on our services, you know what limits you should expect. Now, the cool thing about us here at Name Hero being a cloud web host is that if you have a cPanel account that starts to reach these limits, then you have two options. One, our basic business package, our, our basic business package, um, we can increase those limits. The, the um, physical memory can go all the way up to eight gigabytes, or the virtual memory can go up to eight gigabytes, where the physical memory can go all the way up to four gigabytes. So we can actually increase the limits. The inodes can go from 100,000 all the way to 250,000. Soft limit and the hard limit can go up to 500,000. If that doesn't work for you, then you can upgrade to a VPS. So that's um, what we see most customers do is that most everyone starts off with a shared or reseller account. Um, they, they use these limits. And then once they start reaching these on a regular basis, then they'll start to say, well, it's time to upgrade the account to a VPS. And also the good thing here at Name Hero is if you reach these limits, we don't suspend your account. You're only unable to access the site briefly while the limit is being met. So for example, if you're, using too much, if you're using the RAM limit, if you log into cPanel, it's gonna tell you exactly what you're using. It's gonna say, hey, you're using too much of the RAM. And then we can investigate, well, is it traffic or is it a rogue plugin or is something not working right? So we can kind of diagnose these issues versus suspending. But all of this is because of using Cloud Linux. This is their website here at cloudlinux.com, and I'm on the English version of it. Um, so you can read through here and see um, it, they specifically talk about um, four hosting providers and what they provide. Um, so this is what we use here, and um, and we also sell this for our VPSs. So those of you that are resellers and that are looking to get into the, the big time reseller hosting market and, and using VPSs to offer your customers hosting, I highly recommend Cloud Linux. Um, these are the features that they um, tout here is three times the drop in reboots. Well, that's because you don't have a user using all the resources and the, so the whole server doesn't lock up so it doesn't have to be rebooted. Six times drop in customer suspensions. Well, of course, you don't have to suspend a customer. They just hit the limits and then once they hit the limits, then that's the limits. 5% drop in customer churn. All of this stuff creates frustration. So it, it, it eliminates a lot of that frustration so the customers stay. 70% drop in tickets for performance issues because they know the limits. And then 80% utilization of server resources. Because each account is limited, the server resources are not being met as quickly. So I can speak from personal experience, being the founder and CEO of Name Hero. Um, all of these are true. And it's, it could be even higher than this, these numbers. Cloud Linux is a, is a great piece of software. And if you are reselling, highly recommend it. I had the opportunity to hear the founder and CEO of Cloud Linux speak at the cPanel conference this year. And it was just really interesting listening and learning from him. Um, he's someone I look up to in the industry. And I'm just so impressed at their development and the, the way the company, the Cloud Linux company is going. Um, they're just a solid partner. So we're very proud here at Name Hero of our partnership with them. So if you are offering reseller hosting um, with your VPS, then let me show you how to add this. So a lot of um, our resellers out out there that are wanting to offer um, space to their customers, whether it be master reseller accounts, which I'll talk about in other videos, or web hosting accounts, a lot of them will go with our Hero 8 gigabyte. Because it's got 120 gigabytes of storage, eight gigabytes of RAM, it's just a really nice server to actually resell on. So I'm gonna just use an example, namehero.org, because I wanna show you how to add the Cloud Linux license. So 
we will um, just use our domain and we'll scroll down here under configurable options. We'll see template. We have CentOS 6 with Cloud Linux. So this template's already set up, meaning as soon as you make your payment, it's gonna automatically be deployed with Cloud Linux. Now we don't have the um, image yet for CentOS 7, but if you want Cloud Linux on CentOS 7, it's personal preference, we can do it, we just have to manually do it. It's not a template. Um, so the CentOS 6 in Cloud Linux is a template and it's ready to go. Really, you won't notice a huge difference between CentOS 6 and 7, in my opinion, but it's personal preference. If you want it, then you can just go with this basic template, and then we can add the Cloud Linux later. It does have a monthly fee. This is what detracts some people. This $24.95 is per month, and this is because we have to actually pay Cloud Linux their licensing fee, and then, of course, we have to pay our team um, that's going to keep it installed and, and help you manage it. So that's how you get it added to your VPS. Now, we also, we also recommend Cloud Linux to those that have um, you know, really popular sites on a server. Because um, since Cloud Linux acts as a governor, because it can also govern MySQL to make sure that MySQL doesn't get bombarded and crash your server. So since it has all these aspects, if you have a website that may experience traffic surges, I know I used to own a professional wrestling website, and when they had the pay-per-views on Sunday nights, um, we would have these surges in traffic where our hits would go 10 times what they normally were. Um, Cloud Linux is good because it will actually help govern the server so the server does not go offline in the event of a traffic spike. You can simply tailor the limits. So it's highly recommended not only for web hosts, but for also those with um, really popular websites. Um, again, you don't have to go to Cloud Linux to order it. You can order it right here through us and we will install it and configure it for you. Um, this is the template, so this will be automated installation. If you order the CentOS 7, then we will have to manually install it. Now, if you go to cPanel, another popular feature of Cloud Linux is the PHP selector. So I'm going to type in PHP. Select PHP version. This is a piece of Cloud Linux here. So this allows our customers the ability to choose anywhere from PHP 4.4 all the way up to 7.1. Um, when they select their version, they can select their extensions right here. So if they need um, custom extensions, they can select them here without having to submit a ticket. They can also go to PHP options and change things like their memory limits. Um, this is really important for um, like WordPress and stuff. They can change their memory limits, their upload limits. Um, all these different variables that back in the old days that some old hosts still use PHP any files so that's not needed anymore that's really old school and they're really a pain in the butt a PHP any file is so this really replaces all of that and this is my favorite part about cloud Linux is not only does it have those um, specific limits per account but it also has this PHP selector that can do a lot of stuff and this really is for, from a support aspect of name hero this really reduces our support requests because people are able to do everything right in here they don't have to go create a complicated PHP any file and they don't have to ask us and especially when it comes to adding PHP extensions. Back in the old days with my first web hosting company, if someone needed an extension that we didn't have, we would have to submit a ticket, we would have to rebuild Apache, and then reboot the Apache server. So there was like this big process just to add an extension. Nowadays, you just select it in your cPanel, click save, and you're all set. Um, Cloud Linux inside of Web Host Manager, this is what it looks like. Um, once you have it installed, you'll see a Cloud Linux LVE Manager. <clears throat> And this will show you accounts in real time. Now, I'm not going to scroll through here because this is a live server. Um, and it will show you users and what the, what the current um, limits are they're reaching. Uh, so I don't want to go through all these options since this is a live server um, just for uh, privacy and security. But you can see if you click here, you can see all the users. You can see the statistics and the options, the packages, as well as the selector for the PHP. So everything is controlled right here in Web Host Manager. That's why I wanted to display this. You don't have to SSH in and go to configure stuff. I mean, of course, there is options you can, but most everything is controlled right inside of your browser. So it's recommended if you are a reseller and you are reselling hosting, then I highly recommend adding the Cloud Linux to your VPS. Um, for those that are just using it for one or two sites or using their VPS for one or two sites, it's probably not needed. But again, those of you that have really popular sites that may go through traffic spikes, again, we saw this in my pro wrestling site, and we see this at Name Hero with um, e-commerce sites, especially during Black Friday, Cyber Monday. So maybe that's something that you want to add because your server won't go offline as long as you set these limits. And so this way you can kind of mitigate that a little bit better. 
Um, so if you have any questions, feel free to let us know, but that's what Cloud Linux is in a nutshell and how it operates and the basic features. Now, of course, there's a lot more to it. I mean, it will do a lot of different things. So I recommend going to cloudlinux.com if you want to go and read um, everything about it because you can get into the LVE manager, which are the limits, the MySQL governor, which I didn't talk a lot about, but basically keeps um, any uh, one account from not using up all the database resources. But then it's got stuff like the cage file system, the hardened PHP and the secure link. So I could go all day talking about this stuff. Um, so, you know, you go through um, their website and you can read a little bit more about um, about all of their different features and how they can benefit you. Um, but those are definitely the main ones is being able to limit the accounts in the PHP selector. If you're offering web hosting on a VPS, then I'd say that you're going to get more business and you're going to reduce your support costs by using it. So let me know if you have any questions, let our team know. And of course, if you already have a VPS with us at Name Hero and you would like us to install Cloud Linux, then what we'll do is issue an invoice and then we'll get it installed for you. So just let us know. But thanks a bunch for using Name Hero and enjoy using Cloud Linux for all of your web hosting needs.